Speaking of AI generated code, let's try and use uh, ChatGPT to write a similar program for us. Here is the prompt that I gave ChatGPT. I said, write a Python program to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. I press enter on ChatGPT and it gives me a long answer. Let me just focus on the code part of that answer. Here is that code. Now, before we read the details of this code, I want you to just take a step back and observe some high level ideas of this code. Do you notice that it's broken the code up into certain chunks? It's put spaces in between them. And each chunk actually starts with a comment. That comment explains the purpose of that chunk. Why is ChatGPT producing code like this? Well, ChatGPT has been trained on code written by others and many professional programmers like writing code like this. It's easy to read small chunks at a time. There's nothing that stops me from getting rid of all these spaces and gluing everything down into a smaller piece of code, at least in terms of number of lines. But that will become much harder to read. So ChatGPT is borrowing good programming style. I want to show you good programming style as well. And I would like you to learn how to write code in using good programming style. In any case, you will often find that AI generated code does follow good programming style and that makes it easier for us to read it. The second thing I want you to observe is this first chunk. This uh, is what we call a user defined function. So this is different to a built in function. We will see user defined functions in our next lecture. For now, note that the user defined function starts with a special word, what we call a keyword, the def keyword. Since this is a special keyword, you cannot use def as the name of one of your variables. Similarly, when we are ready to return a value from this function, we use the return keyword. And once again, you cannot have a variable called return. Notice on the next line, the AI generated code uses nested function calls. Then our AI generated code actually calls the user defined function to calculate the answer. We wrote a similar expression uh, in our code, but the AI generated code has decided to put that calculation inside a function. Why did the AI decide to do this? Well, it turns out that this calculation may be used at many different points in our code. By writing it inside this user defined function, we can call that function wherever we need to make that calculation instead of repeating this logic at multiple points in our code. Why is this better? Well, suppose we have to repeat this kind of calculation for different Celsius values at 10 different places in the code. Suppose in one of those places, we made a small mistake. We uh, perhaps added a value 31 or we used a minus operator instead of a plus operator. Small mistakes that are possible for humans to make. Well, instead of risking that, let us write this non-trivial expression one time inside a user defined function and then simply call that function wherever we need. This is again an example of well written code, code that is of good style. Lastly, we have this rather complicated print statement that begins with this letter F. This is not something that we have seen. So let's ask ChatGPT, what does this mean? Here is my question to ChatGPT. Please explain that last line, which has a print and an F. I'm showing this to you because ChatGPT, as part of its training, has read all the Python documentation. And so it 
can repeat relevant information from the Python documentation. It says this last line, and it's reproduced it helpfully for us, uses f string formatting, something called formatted string literals, which was introduced in Python 3.6. So earlier versions of Python do not have this, but modern versions of Python all use f strings. And then it helps us understand the general format of an f string. So you begin with f and then you write something within quotes. Once again, you can write it within double quotes or write it within single quotes as long as you start and end with the same type of quote. So the f means that this is an f string and what does this do? It's a special type of string. It allows you to embed expressions which are variables or calculations directly inside the string. And then those embedded expressions get evaluated and formatted automatically. So in this example, we had Celsius inside these curly brackets and Fahrenheit within these curly brackets. So inside these curly brackets, Python will evaluate these expressions. In this case, these are just variables. So their values will be evaluated and then those values will be inserted into the string. The chat GPT answer continues from here with a helpful example. It says, for example, if Celsius is 25 and Fahrenheit is 77, then that F string will print like this. 25.0 Celsius is equal to 77.0 Fahrenheit. And it tells us that this actually makes the code much more readable. There is an older syntax using something called str.format or you could even use string concatenation to glue things together. Since we are using a modern version of Python, we will stick to f strings in all the examples of the print statement you will see in this course. Now, this AI-generated explanation is extremely useful, but our friend wants to make an important point. Our friend looks at this explanation and says, wait a minute, I can see that Fahrenheit you have written with a dot zero, so Fahrenheit is a float, but this explanation uses Celsius as an integer, right? So 25 without the dot zero is an int. And if it's an int, how come it's being printed as a float? This is an excellent observation by our friend. Our friend is not blindly accepting what the AI has generated. Our friend is looking at things very, very critically. Now, it turns out that in the code, as you might recall, the variable Celsius was initialized like this. It was assigned the value of float of input of something. Remember, this is evaluated firstly by evaluating the input function, which returns a string, and that string is converted into a float. So Celsius is actually assigned to a float object. So the error in this AI-generated explanation is this. It's a small error, but it's a very important little mistake that our friend has caught. The AI-generated explanation should have said if Celsius is 25.0, then it will print 25.0. The general point here is please do not blindly trust AI-generated explanations or AI-generated artifacts of any type.